In petrochemical and LNG facilities, compressors are one of the most critical and costly pieces of equipment. For example, a single refrigerant compressor in an LNG facility can cost approximately $50 million in capital expenses, and the cost of energy required to run the compressor can easily exceed the initial capital cost over the lifetime of the compressor. In addition to capital and operating costs, compressor surge, which is a fast, high energy flow instability condition, can damage compressor components and lead to downtime and expensive repair. A typical compressor anti-surge system consists of an anti-surge controller, a high-performance anti-surge valve, and transmitters to measure flow, pressure, and temperature. The anti-surge valve is usually in closed position or under throttling mode, and it is expected to open with fast stroking speed when compressor surge happens. The Fisher Optimized Anti-Surge Valve is designed to address the efficiency needs of modern plants, catering for the latest industry requirements that demand the anti-surge valve to have both fast stroke and precise control. Here, you can reference a typical compressor map. The operating zone of the anti-surge valve is located within the yellow zone. Employing a high-performance anti-surge valve expands this operating zone, bringing it closer to the surge limit line. This not only helps customers save energy, but also reduces operating costs by optimizing the anti-surge valve size. Let's have a short tour of our Fisher Anti-Surge Valve Live demonstration. This demo showcases a Fisher Cast FB angle valve with Whisper Trim 3 noise attenuation cage, Fisher 785C double acting actuator, Field View DVC 6200 with optimized digital valve or ODV diagnostic tier, and valve tester to run the performance test. The valve tester gives a 10 millisecond sampling rate to ensure high accuracy test results. We also have Fisher SS263 high capacity volume boosters mounted at the top and bottom of the actuator cylinder, as well as Fisher 377 trip valve, ASCO solenoid valve, ASCO air piloted valve 8290 series, and volume tank are included in the pneumatic accessories package. Now, we will conduct some of the typical performance tests on this demo valve to show you how the Fisher anti-surge valve operates. Fast stroking time is one of the mandatory requirements in an anti-surge valve because the valve should quickly open in the event of a compressor surge. First, let us run the stroke test in the opening direction by using positioner control in response to a step change from 20 milliampers to 4 milliampers. The common specification requires the stroke speed to be less than 2 seconds, inclusive of dead time. Here you can see how the Fisher anti-surge valve fully opens the valve in less than two seconds. Second, let us run the stroke test in the closing direction by using positioner control in response to a step change from 4 milliampers to 20 milliampers. Typical specification requires to close in less than three seconds, and Fisher anti-surge valve meets this requirement as shown in the demo. Symmetrical valve performance in both opening and closing directions improves valve controllability ensuring that the process variable can quickly and accurately reach the set point. The Fisher SS263 High Capacity Volume Booster offers symmetrical supply and exhaust CV capacity to meet this performance requirement. Fisher SS263 is also recommended for bigger actuators to simplify the accessories hookup design. The anti-surge valve should respond quicker during planned emergencies. For the third test, the anti-surge valve should fully open within one second when the solenoid valve is de-energized. This requirement can be met by using both ASCO Air Piloted Valve 8290 and SS263 Volume Booster when the SOV trip is initiated. The fourth test involves a large amplitude response to 10%, 20%, 30%, and continues with step changes until reaching 80% valve opening from a baseline of 10%. With proper calibration and fine-tuning of the accessories and digital valve controller, our Fisher anti-surge valves can achieve an overshoot percentage as low as less than or equal to 3% of the calibrated span. It is an important performance criterion because it enables the anti-surge valve to operate closer to the controller's surge limit. Finally, let's see how the anti-surge valve responds to small signal step control. 
By having a Fisher DVC 6200 with an ODV diagnostic tier, the anti-surge valve can be tuned to initiate the valve movement off the seat in less than or equal to 2% signal control. The ODV tuning feature enables the endpoint pressure control inside the double-acting actuator to reduce the pre-stroke time. Emerson ensures all the anti-surge valves are engineered and specially tuned to meet your requirements. We also collaborate with a third party to simulate the anti-surge valve response on the compressor map, providing a live demonstration of Fisher anti-surge valve performance. Engage Emerson for Fisher anti-surge valve solution by visiting fisher.com or contact our local business partner in your country to visit our facility for a live demonstration.